Say it, did. There we go. We're live. We are live. Hey, Wes and I, we were just having a little chat behind the scenes there, just talking about Everton's team. Welcome, all you beautiful people, for this wonderful fixture down at Hotel Chelsea. Uh, it used to be known as Stamford Bridge, but now it's Hotel Chelsea, isn't it? Uh, oh, thank it you, is. Mr. Blue Skies. There is the official team tonight. What? Any surprises, my friend Wes, or are you thinking that's the best we can do for tonight? Um, <clears throat> I think, um, obviously, the rumours of DCL being injured with Sru because he's not even on the bench. Um, there's the bench. And David B, there's just once, you know, he's put good, good comments up there. Young instead of Dan Juma. He's been out for months, though, hasn't he? He has. I'm not, uh, he played, I'm not making he played any the, excuses. Played 90 minutes the other day for the uh, under 21s or whatever it was. Would you have missed him? Would you? Yeah. If you were the manager, yeah. would you have put Jan Juma in? Yeah, we got we got seven games left, and Go even, you know, even if he even if he plays four or five of them games, he's a better option than Ashley Young, and he's going back to Villarreal at the end of the season. So, yeah. Then it becomes their problem if he's injured. <clears throat> so apart from that, friend, would you? Um, is that the team that you'd play tonight? Is that is that our best setup tonight? Um, let me see it again. Come to put it back up. Yeah, hang on. Um, to be, to be fair, to everyone. To be perfectly honest, I would have started. I would have started Gomez instead of James Garner. To be honest, um, I think he brings more to the table. Gomez with his passing ability and his calmness on the ball. Um, Garner, he's you know the other week when he came on <clears throat> as a sub, he seems to make more of an impact as a sub the other week uh, against Newcastle when he hit the post and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I think I think it would have probably put um, Gomez in there instead of James yeah. Garner. But uh, had a bit of a break. Ten days is it since we got a, a one 0 win? But seemed like a one one draw after uh, after uh, getting two points deducted. So back back down in the mix. Are you fancying our chances tonight, Wes? Do you know what I think. Um... <laughs> I'd say if we if we went at this Chelsea team, we we'd probably probably get them. We probably do yeah. them, but we 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 don't have that attacking ability in the team. So the likes of Crystal Palace yesterday, probably I don't know what the percentage win rate was for or the odds would have been, but they've come to a stadium and they've given it a go, haven't they? We turn yeah. up at stadiums and sometimes don't give it a go. However, our away form has been fairly decent this season. So if they turn up and do a crystal, what Crystal Palace did yesterday, I know that as a lad, I, I wish he'd stay on his feet, like because he's quite annoying, but he is uh, he is a bit of a handful, isn't he? So they've got something exciting to watch. We really haven't had much excitement this year, have we? And it's but if they turn up to Chelsea today and and get off the bus and give it a go, then we've got a chance. But this is a free hit. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, they're not expecting to go there and, and and get a win. Even though Chelsea are absolutely garbage this season, they're not expecting to go to Stamford Bridge and get anything from the game. So it's a free hit for them. Yeah. You know, next week against Forest, or, or Saturday, whatever, against Forest is the, is the, you know, the crucial one. So this is this is a no pressure game. All right, you don't want to you don't want to get absolutely hammered and, and reduce the goal difference after Man City putting five past Luton the other day. Obviously, that gives us more of a of a cushion with the goal difference. But this to me, this is this is just go out and have a go. Like stop. It. Like people say to me, people say to me in in the car, Rob, like about the you know. The shite. What? What's it? You no. Know, what? You know, watching. You know, what's it? What's it like watching Everton play? And I and I, and I said it's 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 absolutely awful. It, it is terrible. And I I don't think I've seen a worse style of play than 
than dice ball. But it's it's what we've got to put up with at the minute. So there's no point moaning about it, is there? Yeah. Do you know, you know what I thought was funny today? I, I, I took my grandson over to watch the trains over in Lime Street. And the mass, mate, the mass exodus on the uh, the London train and all of the other trains, Lime Street was just heaving with, <laughs> with all the happy clappers. <laughs> <laughs> with the scarves on all over the place and all the memorabilia and the bags, which is exactly what a certain club wants, isn't it? Mate, yeah. I was there at Lime Street for two hours. I never saw one Everton scarf getting off any train. <laughs> <laughs> Says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. But the, the thing is, I mean, it's uh, Mr. Blue Sky's there saying Cole Palmer's the danger man. You know what I mean? And if we can keep him quiet, we've got a chance. Yeah. Um, I, I, I said it I said it ages ago when he first broke into the City team, he was getting you know, little games here and there. And they said, he's going to be a fantastic. And he's going to be a fantastic player. Whether he realises his, you know, his capabilities at Chelsea is a different matter. But I think the way he's playing at the minute, he's only going to get better and better. But if we keep him quiet tonight, we might have a chance. Yeah. Is, uh, is, your, is your brother there, my friend? I'll just... Just have a little look. Is it your stay, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we you know, we, we, we can um we can obviously do this stream without mentioning um today's date and yeah. the significance of it and you know, the, hopefully the um the ninety the ninety seven the rest in peace. Here, you know, it's, a, it's a sad day, sad day for football. But one thing we've, one thing we've always stood by as Evertonians and and Liverpool fans is Hillsborough. We, you know, we've been stood shoulder to shoulder with each other now for thirty five years, and long may it continue. We leave all rivalries aside on days like this, don't we, mate? Yeah, we certainly do. Uh... I've got to say, my stomach's turning a bit because I'm thinking, I know you mentioned three it before because we're, we're wanting our own games, aren't we, to get the points in, but uh, tonight, you know, it, it is, I'm not saying it's there on a plate, it's, it's. you said keep Carton, Car, uh, what's his name, Cole? Uh, uh, Cole Palmer, yeah. Cole Palmer, yeah. Cole Palmer's kind of like a bit of a actor's name, that, isn't it? He's uh, he's been a good signing for them, but mate, it, they've been so hit and miss this season. Very disjointed like, for the top six team. The yeah. woeful, aren't they? <clears throat> but they, I said to you before, you know, behind the scenes, is that like we've got to win that midfield battle today because that's the best part of Chelsea's team is their midfield. <clears throat> I ask you the question: Have have we won a midfield battle this season? No. <laughs> I didn't take you long, did it? <laughs> but you know yeah. what? Never say never. Oh no, never say never. We're four never to one never. to win tonight. The thirteen to twenty or twenty to thirteen. So we're the underdogs again. Uh possession wise, we're probably gonna give them the ball, aren't we, Wes? But you know, um I'd love to see. I'd love to see. Love to see some form of dominance in the midfield, and I'd love to see every opportunity Beto gets for it in the back of the net. And then I woke yeah. up. But you know what, mate? We can all we can all live in hope, can't we? We use that word every week, don't we? Hope. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Um, <clears throat> at some at some point, like Onan has got to start grabbing games by the scruff of the neck because we know he's capable of it. It's just that we we very rarely see it. But don't know it. Yeah. Is is that basically? I mean, let's not mess around here. I don't want to use the term lesser players because it's kind of like our team. But is is it 
when he plays for Belgium, he's clearly got a certain class around him, hasn't he? Because they are the best player for the country. Do you think that that clearly brings out the best in him? And when he's supposedly the leader for us or the talisman that some people have said, it kind of like goes a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe it's just like, you know, playing when he's playing with Belgium, like, even though you know, even though they're they're a good side and all that, the the you know the, the the playing with better players doesn't bring as much pressure on you with with playing for Everton, like the the, the pressure for him to perform week after week must be intense. And you know, everybody's when, when he doesn't play well, <clears throat> everyone's kind of like, well, oh, Nana didn't play well again, and he, you know, he, he was pretty anonymous. All right, let's do a little analysis there then, based on what you just said. If he's a top player who's supposedly going to go for top wanga in the very, very near future, probably before the 30th of June, and it is going to happen. No, it might, or it could. It is going to happen. We're not talking about the money, but has he justified being the main man for Everton that, or, or others just looking at him going, uh, he's he's going to be absolutely amazing. Him, we, yeah. Personally, we haven't seen it, have we? No, the like, I think the potential the potential was there for him to come in and be an absolute superstar. And I think that's what teams are looking at. Is that you know when he when he does play for Belgium, he is, he is really good. He's just playing in a you know in a poor team who who were under pressure at the at the bottom of the league. You know, getting points deducted and all stuff like that. Um, so, so yeah, I think I think it was was it Bayern Munich that was looking at him as well. So you know they must see something if you know if if if, <clears throat> if he's linked with teams like that. Yeah, it's just but, unfortunate <clears throat> that the season ticket holders don't see the same, isn't it? That that's all I'm saying. You know, the people that literally spend seven hundred pound minimum um, for the for the home games and. Clearly, a lot of people go away as well, and it, it kind of maybe just just hasn't happened. Yeah, and you know, if we wasn't in such a perilous position, and we had someone better, or or we had some someone better, then the, you know we'd play. But the fact of the matter is, we've got a very very thin team, and we haven't got much to choose from. So, you know, he he is sort of like. The, the pressure is on him, on him, isn't it? Yeah. Mr. Blue Skies, yeah, we, we totally agree. That's kind of like what we're saying. But on the flip side of that, if he's that much of a star, you'd at least see some shining light with a couple more goals and a couple more 8 out of 10 performance pluses for me. That's all we're saying. Yeah, so yeah. But again, I take your point. Take your point. Yeah, so Gary, Gary, there, Gary, coffee bum, saying, you know, Luton, Luton and Forest are thinking it's between us three. You know what I mean? Because of Palace winning yesterday. With Palace winning yesterday, I mean, I know, I know, you know, a lot of Evertonians were reveling in the fact that Palace beat Liverpool, but that didn't do us no favours. Yeah. We we was only a, a point behind them or something, is it, Rob? Uh, yeah, we were we're... on twenty nine and they were on thirty. Yeah, so they did something yesterday. Things. They did something <laughs> yesterday that a lot of teams just cannot do. But they had a go, but didn't they, he? So they, 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 caught, they caught Liverpool at the right time. You know, the, on the back of a, a draw against Man United after a, a heavy defeat in in Europe, and they and they they, they caught Liverpool at the right time. They, if they'd have caught Liverpool three or four games ago, Liverpool would just absolutely battered them but they've caught them on they've caught them on a downer and they've managed to get a win but also Palace are a bit of a bogey team for Liverpool you know what I mean but like I say you know people people are reveling in the fact that Palace beat Liverpool and, and it's great as Evertonians that you know the Liverpool title charge seems to have been derailed for the time being you know if Arsenal would have won yesterday that would have derailed it even more, but the fact Strange that day. Arsenal and Luton, it's yeah, it's, it's kind of give, it's kind of give them hope again, aren't it? You know what I mean? So, in, in four hours, 
everything just changed yesterday, didn't it? <laughs> Madness. Like in the space of I think it was in the space of a week, Liverpool went from top two points clear to being two points behind. Yeah. Man City. Weird, yeah, isn't only, it? Only only nine days to go for the derby as well, mate. You'll be doing that with someone else because the lobster's uh, not here. Yeah, the lobster's going off on his jollies. They're coming up thick and fast, aren't they? So tonight, oh, don't forget, by the way, we've got uh, Chris <clears throat> Lightsey. He's just set up his watch along tonight. So uh, if you've not got access to anything, then join in on Follow Everton. Lightsey is doing a watch along. And then he'll yeah, be like on it. for post match. And if you yeah. want to win a derby <sighs> ticket at Goodison Park, go on to the Follow Everton stream, uh, Everton Twitter. Fan TV, and Hit the uh, subscribe button on YouTube and send it out to someone, and you've got the chance of winning a match day ticket for the derby next week. So I was just looking at that before. There's kind of only like 258 people who have looked at it. And it's been on over 24 hours now. I thought that would have been, I thought that would have been like, you know, like a bar of gold. Yeah. The the, the um. The I think he said. I think Ryan said the draw is on the. T- 21st yeah 21st it's been it's been uh chose at random so yeah get, get on twitter um retweet it or requote it or whatever you, like to you, put on YouTube, he, want, he wants to tweet he wants it on youtube mate doesn't he yeah, yeah but he also he wants it to be retweeted on twitter and also he's got a like and you've got to subscribe on youtube as well yeah okay dokie so there you but go everybody that's probably everybody that's on here is probably already su- subscribed on YouTube anyway. But if you're not, get yourself across there and you could possibly win a, a Derby ticket free charge. There's a question from Emma. Emma, if you're already a subscriber, just go to Twitter and, and retweet it. There you go, Emma. Just like a magician. There's your answer. There you go. Basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to grow the channel with more followers. So Ryan cannot make the derby match. So he's decided to donate his ticket uh, to someone that, well, everyone's got an opportunity. I won't be subscribing because I'm not here, but I wouldn't do it anyway. So you've got a chance. You've got a chance. Just like Everton tonight, we've got a chance. Seven cup finals left. Seven. Our American friend here says, Whoever wins the wins the booby prize of the uh, the free derby ticket, let's go and watch Everton. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're Afternoon, saying. Afternoon, Wormy. <laughs> where, where, I think Wormy's abroad somewhere, aren't you, mate? Because uh, is he? Because it's it's evening here. Wormy spoons. Uh, uh, that's got to be a bit of a. It's an unusual one, isn't it? So that's kind of. Is it short for something? What wormy? Wormy spoons. It's not a camp. It's not a name, is it? Wormy. I mean, I've never heard anyone called Wormy before. Have you? And Sega, he's in. And Sega. Wow, nice one. Wormy spoons. What does it mean? Just tell us what it means, mate, because I'm quite intrigued. Like Gary, if you're already a subscriber on YouTube, if you're not, go over to YouTube, type in follow Everton fan tv and subscribe if you're already a subscriber go on twitter and go to follow everton and retweet the um the the, the thread that's got the free derby ticket on it simple it's as not that hard. it's not hard is it and you could be sitting next week in ryan's seat watching the derby there's our there's our magpie friend sniffer God, God bless you too. <laughs> and God bless you also, my friend. God, God bless good. you. <laughs> God bless you, mate. Yeah, we're trying to have a little bit of a laugh. We're trying to rally the enthusiasm and hoping that it wings its way down to the blue team to come out tonight to go, yeah, we're up for it and, and do another Brighton. That's that's what so, we're hoping anyway. Hang on, Rob. I'm just I'm just getting me where the where the thing you're coming in it, I actually think it's raining in Antigua. 
absolutely hammering it down. I mean, wow. fortunately for me, though, being in Zimbabwe, it's lovely here. Right. Oh, that's right. Zimbabwe. Yeah, I know it well, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Yeah, I went on safari there a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, so you're, um, you're not on post-match, mate, are you? So you're just doing a pre-match and then obviously I you're am. flying back home tomorrow. I am, mate, yeah. Fly, flying back tomorrow. I'm yeah. like, uh, for, for, all the, for all the older viewers there, I'm like a Judas Chalmers. I'm all over the gaff, just following Everton, traveling yeah. different countries as well, just to watch them legally. Yeah. Because they don't want to give me money to Sky, see? No, no. Um, do you know what, mate? I don't know anyone these days who subscribes to Sky. No. I mean, clearly people do. Yeah. Come on, tell us who subscribes to Sky. I'm not asking you who's got a dodgy stick. Who subscribes okay. to Sky? The people. Because... The people who got too much money. Yeah, I was talking to a guy at the weekend and he was paying £175 a month for, and he's a Fulham fan, by the way, but he likes Everton. And I, I, I couldn't believe 175 And that was for the movies. That was all the football. That was everything. And his broadband. And, and I just thought, oh, my God, 175 And obviously, he, he, he's going to remain nameless because, you know, nobody's going to know who he is. But now yeah. he just pays sixty pound a year. How does he do that? That's no it, idea. It, it sounds like a magician. One hundred and seventy-five a month to sixty pound a year, guys. How does Jesus he do that? Christ. I just don't know. It's costing me me an absolute fortune jetting around the world trying to watch these these football games legally. Mate, you know what I mean? I, I I I applaud you for doing it the right way. Thanks, mate. Yeah. So. Um, Roy Nixon, all right, Roy. Um, good question there, Rob. How do we get yeah. out of this without having to sell our best players? Uh, Roy, we can't, unfortunately, we mate. It's just a never ending circle where we've got ourselves on the merry go round, kind of like uh, if I use the term ship managers who make a fortune who go to a club, get sacked go to another club, get sacked, go to another club, get sacked, and they're crap. But they're just on, they're on, they're in, they're in, uh, they're in that little merry-go-round. We're, we've been put on, we, in fact, shall I say we put ourselves on the merry-go-round and other people have just gone, oh, hey. And it just so yeah. happens that the time it was not right for us to be on that merry-go-round where somebody had to be made an example of, and unfortunately it's us. But it's been yeah, coming for a long time, Roy. Been coming for a long time. We're on that, as you say, we're on that merry-go-round and Mr. Masters in the Premier League have just decided to spin it that little bit faster. But, yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's like, I was I was looking it up today. I mean, I don't really want to go, go along this road again because it, it's like going over the same thing time and time again. But I was looking at it today with these new rules, right? Now, with these new rules, if you're in Europe, you're allowed to spend 70% of your annual revenue on wage, you know, wages, squad, squad size and whatnot, squad, whatever it is. And teams that are not in Europe are allowed to spend 85%, right? So now what I've worked out is that roughly Man City generates about between seven seven hundred and eight hundred million pounds a season, right? And Everton generate hundred and eighty million, right? So if they're in the Champions at the moment, League at the moment, yeah. So at, yeah. so if they're in the Champions League, right? Man City would be allowed to spend five hundred and thirty five million, roughly, on their squad, right? And Everton would be with with, with 85% would be able to spend 153 million. So where's the fairness in that, Rob? Yeah, well, it, all, all that's gone. Wait, since this 
39 years ago when it used to be a level playing field and both teams were probably equal on the night and the best team won. That's not the case anymore. But friends out there, that's not what they want. They don't want a level playing field anymore because that ship has well and truly sailed. So yeah. we all know what, what, what goes on now. You can have a hotel, you can have two hotels, you can flog it back to yourself and whatever, and you can avoid because of loopholes. They've got clever people behind the scenes going, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. We've just been a gang of divvies. I'm sorry to say it. Uh, um, we, we didn't know our ass from our elbow. And that's yeah. that's how we've been caught out. Ultimately, yeah. there's no other better. There's no other, I can't think of a better way to say it, Les. Yeah, it's it's, it's true. I mean, uh, just get just a little thing up there, Kevin. Welcome, Kevin. Better late than ever, mate. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, considering machine, he's an accountant. He's got you know, <laughs> what's all I'm that about? Laughing. I'm, I'm trying I'm to think of an analogy for him, but I, I, I've got nothing in my head to even compare no, it to. We just you shake I mean? our heads, don't we? He, he's he's got rich. He's been in the right place at the right time, and he's mixed in big circles, probably in some form of Masonic lodge or whatever. And one of the chosen ones made his money through whatever, whatever, whatever. And you'd expect a little bit of a little bit of nous, a little bit of a little bit of checking over things and whatever instead of just rolling over and being yeah. a divvy that's twice so we've said divvy tonight so we've had the uh um, destroying we've we, we had the news today that which is no surprise to nobody that we're appealing the two-point deduction um have you heard what, one, him, from from a certain quarter in the press that everton are given themselves uh, a nightmare situation because uh, the appeals committee could actually increase it. All so right. I and, and might be looking at an increase because they've appealed the, the two points already. That's that's the really? press That's 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 evident. So you won't see you'll see a little a little article like that in the journals, but if it was one of the big boys, it'd be plastered all over the place. So, but yeah, there but yeah, they're all there saying that they're all saying that there's a, extremely unlikely that Forest to get theirs increased, but we we <laughs> could get ours increased. But it's I'm going to ask the viewers out there because someone's just mentioned it that because Everton want want it reduced to a point and deferred to next season, right? I personally don't think that's going to happen, but I think what what could happen is they could get the two points deferred until next season but I also think that MS because we're going to get the news today is it today or tomorrow sometime this week where whether MSP are going to grant it the extension um, and I think I think triple seven are being very clever in the fact that they're just going to bankroll the club to the end of the season to stop them going into administration or they're waiting to see if they do go into administration, then get them for next to nothing because they're going to be relegated. Then you know what I mean. I think you're right there, mate. I think they have used. Uh, I think they've they've used what Machiri hasn't used up here. Yeah. So I'm just going to ask the ask the the followers out there with this, um, you know, this appeal. What do they think that's going to happen? Do you think the two points are going to stay? Do you think it could be increased? Do you think that? We're going to get reduced to a point and have it deferred, or do you think it's going to be reduced to a point and on this season, or do you think we're going to get what I do? I think the two points might get deferred until next season. Do you know? Do you know what I find fascinating? Was it the fifteenth of April? Yeah, fifteenth of April today, but it's not going to be decided until five days after the Premier League is finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wes. You couldn't write the circus scripts any better, could you? No, no. However, well, yeah. mate, it's still in our hands. That that's, we've got seven games still in our hands, so we're 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 not happy about the situation. But at the end of the day, 
it's it's in our hands. Like it's in Man City's hands now. They've only got to win, 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 and they've won the Premier League. It's in their hands. Yeah. The drop yeah. is in our hands. Yeah. So so Gary Gary Coffee Bum there says that five a.m. tomorrow That's we could be owned stuff. by MSP. Five a.m. in the morning. Yeah, it, m- it might be American time or something. I don't know. Right. Okay. Well, I'm sure Chad, Chad and Chris American. Leitch are on post-match later. Uh, so um, if it's happening over in the States, I'm sure they'll have a bit of an input. So tune into the post-match later, uh, hopefully with an Everton point or an Everton win. Uh, and they'll be giving you a little bit more of an update because they are based over in the US. Yeah. Uh, Peter says that the case for our mitigations was even strong for this point deduction. It was the same. It was the same mitigations, just that they were they were actually taken into consideration this time. Um, we're, we're, even even the even the press were baffled as to the reasons why they weren't taken into consideration on the the six points or the ten point deduction reduced to six, but for some reason they were this time. So that's because yeah, you have secret meetings with certain other individuals over coffee and scones and volivants and champagne at the secret club it's a done deal before they even sit down and tell you Wes we all know the script my friend don't we yeah but I'm did... not going to use the word C-O-R-R-U-P-T because we can't say that can we well, there you say do you know what Rob I think we win we win we, if we beat we we win all our own games, right? Not including the derby. We beat we beat Forest, we beat Sheffield United, and we beat Brentford, right? We we're staying up with them with them nine points. And anything else is a bonus. And anything else is a bonus. You know what I mean? We've got Luton away, you know. And and if we were to get four wins out of them last seven games, right? Even that, even that, with with you know keeping the two points is probably going to keep us up. Do you know what I mean? So, like you say, it's in our hands. What we've got to do is win. Yeah, not get tonked, just win. Just get off that coach and be up for the fight. And because you know what, we'll probably have what three and a half thousand at uh, Chelsea tonight. Three thousand, three and a half thousand. Yeah, give the fans something to cheer about in the stadium, and the rest of us. Who were just watching it over in Zimbabwe and whatever, you know, we just uh, just give us something to cheer about. Yeah, so, so Gary Coffee Bum's come back with it. What the idea is that five five a.m. Says that's when the deadline for the loan runs out. If you don't pay that, do you get fifty one percent of flat ad shares? But the the day the then day the day after be ratified then still surely that's still got to happen and that's like normally that's like between eight and 12 weeks or something isn't it yeah it, it's mate it's a soap and it it's just ongoing and you just don't know when the end's going to be <laughs> steve oh totally agree mate i totally agree all we're saying is it's in our hands yeah, and and you don't forget we got to we got to draw the game before that as well. So, you know we got a bit we've got a, a a little bit of confidence back in the team, um, and now they know they know where they stand regardless of whether, you know the the appeal goes through or not. They know where they stand is that they're going to get two points, regardless. You know what I mean? So whether that's deferred or whether, you know, we get reduced to a point or whatever. But okay, it, it kind of make the thing is it it kind of makes it um kind of makes a bit of a mockery of it when you know you you've had two points deducted and you and you appeal it and the appeal is going to be after the season ends. Like personally, myself, I'll be honest with you, I'd have just gone. We'll take the two points now and we can just move forward. Do you know what I mean? Because I I thought two points was probably the you know the bare minimum that he could give us. Yeah, I think it was just on the back of the six points, wasn't it, when Forrest got four. I think that is kind of, that's left a bit of a taste in in, uh, in Everton's 
in our mouths where we just go, no, you, you kind of, you're not playing it. We'll have 11 playing fields. Dead fair. Evertonians yeah, but- are fair, just don't have us off. Scousers, do you know what? We're dead fair, just don't have us off. That's all we're saying. But we've been had off. Having said that, Wes, though, we have had ourselves off as well with that, with the structure and the way we have been managed and the way we've 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 paid players £60 million in wages and whatever and 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 aging fees and 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 uh, chief executive fees and managers fees and the backroom staff fees mate it's just been oh, it's just been woeful hasn't it we always try and be positive don't we but at the end of the day we've got to come back and say we've been our own worst enemy and, and we have Wes. yeah of course we have i mean i was saying i was saying it uh just the other day there you know like, like you say no one's aware that we're on the taxis in liverpool and um so i always get into the conversation about football and i always say there's not there's not a single everton fan out there that i've come across that has said that we don't deserve to be punished for yeah. breaking the rules right we're dead fair mate aren't we we're straight yeah we're front yeah so so we just thought that the the the, the punishment far outweighed the crime in the first 10 points but I always say when Mashiri first come in and he was splashing the cash, everyone was going. Everyone was made up. Everyone it's was like, money. yeah, yeah. It's not it's our money. money. Now the ones <laughs> the ones who were saying that are the ones that are screaming the most now. You know what I mean? They're the ones that are most vocal. So you can you can't have it both ways. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you you could do if you had if you had a, a responsible owner who who was who kept his pair strings you know t- tight to his chest and didn't just splurge it on any old shite you know what i mean yeah but we have oh. we boys yeah boys and girls out there everton fans we are dead honest we are dead straight we have bought shite for probably the last decade after yeah. shite, after shite, and we paid them a king's ransom. Yeah, and the, and the thing, the thing is, is that over over Mashiri's time, the 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 standard of players has declined and declined and declined, and now we're left with, you know, bare bare minimum. Where's what's a dilf? Don't know. So that, it, it, we're having another competition. If you can just send in what a DILF is, please, because I don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm, and for anybody much. anybody that that um that has only recently joined, like Becky and who is else down there, Mr. Toffees. Um yeah. I don't know whether we've just mentioned it before that Ryan's giving away his Derby ticket. If anyone's interested, all you've got to do, if you're already a subscriber on YouTube. Um, go to Twitter and retweet. Go to follow Everton on Twitter and retweet the the Derby ticket um, thread on there, and you'll be putting a, a, a draw, and the, the the person will be drawing out ram- randomly, and you can have that uh, Ryan's ticket to go to the game. Um, if you're not already a subscriber on YouTube, get over yourself to YouTube and subscribe, and tell all your friends. So there, that's that. That's that bit done. I don't think we've got 195 million viewers on here now, so I don't think there's going to be getting any more than 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 what's on. So I'm not going to say it again. Yeah, and uh, just for the pair, I was having a little joke then for everybody. Uh, the Robster does know what a Delta India Lima Foxtrot is. So thank you very much for Jay for sending me the message. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate we have a laugh don't we you know what we try and have a laugh we talk about everton and we try we do our utmost to make all that negativity and all that shite behind the scenes and we just try and have a smile and have a laugh because and we hope we bring a smile to your face as well because it's tough for us it's tough for us because there's no way where we can hide on here we are live and and, and we, we we feel the pain like you do out there so but there's only so much that we can do, isn't it? You know, sh- short of going down to FA Premier League headquarters with our placards and 
and and standing outside uh, the entrance blocking blocking the entrance so people can't get in there's not really a lot we can do is there it's kind of like we all feel and i'm sure you do a little bit helpless yeah. yeah i mean the thing is like i'll be perfectly honest i don't think if we if we get to the end of the season and, and this appeal goes through and we are two points off being relegated and I, and i'm not just i'm not just saying this because um i'm an evertonian i think that we'll get a point back off them because i don't think they could stand the 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 shit storm that's going to come their way i really don't yeah uh and i think it might come wes i think and let's hope that we don't, it doesn't have to happen but i feel it in my bones that uh we've not heard the last of this my friends this is one that's going to rumble for quite a while it is it is so come the end of the season you think right everyone i'll see you all soon and and, and we'll be talking about who, who we sell and who we buy but come the end of the season we're not we're going to be talking about are we staying up or aren't we <laughs> yeah and you know what I, like so it's got a couple of americans in in the um in the car today and they've been been down to see the new grounds and all that they were they were cop heights do you know what i mean but they've been where they were staying they, they had a little walk down seeing in the, the titanic grounds. no they were staying in uh the malmaison um, oh yeah just around anyway, the corner, he? He, he asked me the guy he was a, he was a, a new york police officer um in fact just hang on a sec oh you think he i think wes has got some memorabilia here give me these wow nypd nypd nice. mate all right get so them on your shoulders right now i'm gonna i'm gonna be walk, riding around in the taxi like that with it on ba, 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 go and get ba, ba, me a cup of coffee yeah that's what he said some some coffee some one coffee coffee and some that about? biscuits a cup of coffee some, mate some it's coffee. coffee lad it's coffee not coffee a cup of coffee and some yeah cookies and some donuts yeah see you kevin kevin's off good luck see to you later tonight. kev see you kev yeah but uh yeah so but what um what i was talking about was he he said when the, when the um ever moving into this, that stadium and i said well this is a bonus this is a bonus con contention <laughs> Not. That it's basically going to be sitting in there, sitting there empty for for like a season. We're going to be losing all that revenue. I mean, who's going to be cutting the grass, Rob? We get in there and be like fucking Borneo. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> they'll probably have a few goats and a few horses in there, mate. Just making sure it uh, stays trim. And I I also had some Palace fans in that I took up uh, took into town as well on Sunday yesterday. And they asked me the same question, and he was like, "Why? Why is he not going in it? You can't get and it." Can nobody, he? nobody can work it out, though, can they? No, even those so. Evertonians are baffled as to why we're not going in there. Yeah, it's yeah. That's that's one for another day, I think, isn't it? Because we kind of we're only speculating. We actually don't know the reason why, do we? It's uh, I, I I don't know. Maybe they can't afford. Uh, Maybe they can't afford the removal vans to move stuff to move all our trophies. <laughs> the fucking cuckoo clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Hey, well, yeah. live, these one-liners you heard them live on Follow Everton. Do you know what? <laughs> Brings tears to my eyes. Oh, hey, man. friends! There's only three minutes to go before Lightshe starts. Uh, Ten minutes to uh, to kick off for his watch along. So, shall we? Anything else you want to say up. apart from? Hey, you haven't mentioned scores yet. Let's go for the scores. All right, let's go for the scores. I'm what are you go... thinking? What are you thinking? I think that if we go behind, we're not winning Again. the game, or we're not drawing. If we go losing. behind, what? If we if we go behind, we're losing. If we go one nil up, we'll draw. I, okay. I can't see because last winning. season, last season we were one nil, getting beat one nil, and Brantwaite scored that little nice little header, did he? Yeah, that was last season. Yeah, this season they're even worse at trying to score goals. 
Right. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Go, I'm going. I'm going to go one one. I'm go well. All right. I'll go nil nil then because I was going to go one one. But if I go one one, everyone's going to get out. You're copying Wes, so I'm going nil nil. Yeah, Ian, Ian's saying we're going to lose. I mean, fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, um, I, I uh, made Chris say, say two two with that Ellis Sims equaliser. Yeah. And that, and that and that was probably his last game, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That was another good. That was another cracker as well. One of the Alice Sims one and the Jared Branthwaite one. Yeah, yeah. And Peter, so Peter's going for Chelsea five 0 Peter's not in the not in a good place at the minute. Peter, you know, you know we feel for you, mate. And thinking of you, mate. Evertonians are the you know most of Evertonians in the same boat. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, Eugene's going for four ones to Everton. Very optimistic. Yeah. Well, nice one, with Eugene. Gary Coffinbum's going for a three nil to Everton. Yeah. Tone Clear is laughing at the top Gary Coffeebum. Is Tone Clear in you? Uh, Eugene, sorry. No, I think I've seen Tone Tone before. Okay. Um them is go nine uh, <laughs> nil. Emma's going for the Desmond 2-2. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it, it seems pretty positive from the Blues. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's, 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 let's just all take a deep breath, get that Tai Chi in, and let's hum together. So, friends... Are you happy? Uh, and we'll have a chat on Saturday for rematch. Yes, I'm uh, happy. Go make a little drink before the game. So thanks everyone that's watching. We've had some cracking numbers tonight. Don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe on YouTube and Twitter and retweet to win that Derby ticket that Ryan has donated for next week. Uh, up the yeah. toffees, up the blues. And we'll speak to you soon. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.